Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the channel Design with Cracker. Today we are beginning a header and navigation masterclass series. We're going to be taking a look at how to create a functional header with different features. As an introductory video, I'd like to mention some of the things uh, I would like to cover in this series. Beginning with this video, we're going to cover header with center logo, and then we'll move on to one page navigation active state, custom header with sticky and overlay features. Uh, a lot of folks don't like the default header builder. And we're going to cover scroll down to hide and scroll up to reveal header. And then we're going to cover animated underline on hover and a few other things. We're going to start with building a header and navigation with a center logo. There are several ways to do this, but in this video, we're going to take a look at just one technique, just as you see here. So let's jump into oxygen and begin now. I have a setup here, so we're going to start. The first thing we're going to do is to add a section. I'm using vanilla oxygen, no atoms. Ah, so I'm going to bring that section to the top, okay. I'm going to rename that to a header wrapper. I'm going to give it a class of header wrapper. I'm going to go to advanced size and spacing, and then I'm going to give it a padding, uh, a top padding of 32 pixel, and then I'm going to give it a bottom padding of zero. And then I'm going to go to layout and give it a Z index of 10. And then I want to give it a background color, uh, something dark like this. Okay. And I'm going to add a div inside and then I'm going to rename it to header. And then I'm going to give it a class of header. So let's give it a hundred percent width. Inside the header, we're going to add an image and a menu. I'm going to add a menu. And then I'm going to select the menu and give it an ID or change the ID to split menu. All right. I'm going to select the image and give it a class of logo. I'd like to rename that to logo. Let's give it a width of 80 pixel and a height of auto. Next, I want to wrap this with a link wrapper. And then I'm going to set the URL to slash so it will link to the home page for now. I like to select an image for the logo. So I think I'll just copy this URL for this image. OK. And just paste it here. OK, that works. I'm going to select this link wrapper. I'm going to rename it to logo wrapper. I'm also going to give it a class of logo wrapper. I'm going to go to size and spacing. I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a maximum width of fit content. And then I'm going to go to primary and start child content vertically center. I'm going to select the menu. Let's give it a maximum width of 100% size and spacing. Max width, 100%. Okay. So we have that, this. No, that's not correct. What we're doing, we're going to give it a width of 100%. All right, and a maximum width. Let's give it a maximum width of 800 pixels. That can always be changed. And then we're going to give it a margin left and right auto. All right, to center it. And I'm going to change uh, the typography, okay, to white. I'm going to go to the hover and active feel. I'm just going to clear those fields. And then uh, I want to change the text hover color. Where is the text hover color? OK, the hover text color. I just want to set it to something like a turquoise. OK, something like that. Maybe a little bit blue. All right, that's cool. So I'm going to save it. Let's have a peek at the front end and see how it looks. All right, so far so good. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is to center this logo. This will require two steps. First, we're gonna place the logo at the middle of the header, and then we're gonna split the navigation into two. All right, okay, first, to center the logo, to do this, we'll need to absolutely place a logo in the middle of the header. This means we need the parent, uh, which is the header div, to be set to position relative. 
So uh, this is the header div, which is the parent. Uh, we're going to go to um, layout. I'm going to set it to position relative. And then um, we're going to select the logo wrapper. And we're going to go to layout, position, absolute, left, 50%. Then we're going to go to um, effect, transform. To bring the logo back to the middle, uh, we're going to just translate X negative. All right. So if you haven't seen um, the mastering layout technique, um, my previous video, you have to see it so you can understand why we're doing this this way. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to split the logo. But before we do that, I'd like you to do me a personal favor. It's going to take just five seconds of your time. So do me a solid by hitting the thumbs up if you think this video deserves more views. And if you don't want to miss subsequent videos, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thank you. Let's head over to the front end and we're going to split the logo in the front end. Okay. Okay. I'm switching over to Chrome. I was using Firefox. I feel more comfortable using the Chrome, um, you know, inspector tool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to examine the elements to target. Okay. Let's look at the structure of the navigation now. So you want to take a look at now, see what I did here, select this and then just click on the navigation and then go all the way to where you have nav. So this is, this is the element, the nav element. So you see here, the tag nav is here. I'm going to expand this and then we'll take it one step at a time. All right. The first item we're going to target is the nav, which is and the nav ID. Okay, that's the nav ID, and then we move to the UL, the unordered list. Okay, and uh, and then we're going to move down to the LI, and then we're going to move down to the A, that is the anchor. All right, so um, let's open the inspector style sheet. So I'm just going to click here, and then click here to enter the inspector style sheet. I'm going to just take everything out. Now, because we want these changes to be applied, let me turn off this responsiveness. Okay, turn this off. We're going to be using this to temporarily write our CSS. We want this change, you know, this CSS to be applied only on larger screen size. So we're going to wrap it in a media query. Okay, so I'm going to go at media. Minimum width. Uh, we're going to do 768 pixels. All right. Okay. Now, uh, we're going to target uh, the, the menu ID, which was split menu. Split underscore menu. Okay. And we're going to target the UL. That's the unordered list. Okay. Now, let's push this down further. Okay. All right, so uh, first thing we're going to do is just make text align. Right, okay. And then we're going to give it a margin of zero. And then padding, going to give it 10 pixel. All right. And then we're going to display block. Now, the reason we are displaying this block is uh, because uh, we want to, we, we're going to do use float, you know, in the child element, which is the li. Okay. So we're done that. And then the next thing we're going to target is the split menu, split menu, li. I'm going to go float. All right. None. Display. So we're going to display it in line block. Okay, and uh, we move on to the next thing, which is we want to now we have now what we have this we want to target the first three item and then move it to this other side. So I'm gonna go again split menu, okay, li nth child. So we want the first three. So the, for the first three dash n plus three, that selects the first three child. Okay, um, and then I'm going to float left. All right, so that works. Okay, then we're going to target the, um, the, the menu, the items. Split menu A, that's the link items. And we're just going to set the margin uh, 
zero and eight pixels. All right, to bring it, you know, closer. Now everything looks fine. Okay, so uh, let's see. So you see that. Okay, so what we need to do, we're gonna set this. All right, so let's head over to um, head over to oxygen. We're gonna add a code block. All right, so let's go to oxygen. So I'm just gonna drop a code block here. I'm gonna rename it to split menu code. I think I would like it to stay at the very top here. I'll go here and add just hash to disable that. And then the CSS, I'm gonna paste that CSS. All right, let's change the theme here so we can see properly. So I'm gonna save this and then I'm gonna preview. All right, so everything looks good. All right, let me collapse this. So now let's take a look at a breakpoint. So you can see that a menu collapsed at a pretty large breakpoint. So what I want to do is I want the menu to collapse maybe at this breakpoint, so 768. So I'm gonna select the menu, then I'm gonna to go to mobile responsiveness and change it to 768 so that at this breakpoint, we still have a menu, okay? So the next thing we're gonna do is to make it responsive, okay? So I'm gonna go here. So how do we do this? We need to move this image here, move the menu here. So I'm at the menu, okay? I'm gonna to go to size and spacing, and then I'm gonna set the margin right, okay? Which is this, to on set. And then I'm gonna set the width to auto. So remember that the width was 100%, okay? And we are set the margin left and right. So now we still have the margin right as auto because in the large breakpoint, both of them were auto. And now here, we've unset this side, leaving only the side auto and the width auto. Let's go back to the primary, mobile responsiveness. And then of course, we have set that to toggle, all right? Then the icon styles, uh, I wanna set the icon color to be maybe a little bit dimmer. Okay, let's try a color like this. Uh, B5, 593FF, something like purple, okay? I'm gonna go to menu styles, okay? And then link, the link text color. I'm gonna set that to, let's take a look. It's white, so we're gonna just set it to, you know, Something like that. Dark. All right. Okay, so now the next thing is uh, to select the logo wrapper. And we're basically just going to undo what we did because we set it to position absolute. So we're going to go to layout and just set it to static. Okay. I'm going to go to size and spacing. And then we're going to set the margin right. So auto. And I'm going to select this and stack child element vertically. So let's see how that looks. So it seems our logo is pretty much, you know, to the very edge. Now let's set this to center. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give it a margin. Okay. The logo wrapper. I'm going to give it a margin left of, let's say, 20 pixels. Take a look at that. Okay. All right, let's save this and preview. I'm gonna preview that. Let's see, responsive. Yep. Go. As a side note, whenever you're planning to implement this type of layout, uh, bear in mind that you must have an even number of nav items. Uh, that's the only way you can achieve the symmetry, just like we have with six items here. So if you're having seven items, of course, you'll not be able to center this because you need to have equal number of uh, nav items on either side. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, drop them below. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up, drop a comment, and let me know what you think. More videos coming your way. Until then, peace out.